Hi, thanks for stopping by. Um, I just got noticing this is not hair behind me, that's a plant. So um, I'm not growing a mullet or anything there. But uh, I've said before that uh, we don't get to pick who our ancestors are, but I have really enjoyed reading about their stories. And I've got one today that I think you might find interesting. This is about my seventh great grandparents. Um, they are through my mother's side. And we're going to talk today about Edward Bishop and his wife, Sarah Wilds Bishop. But before we do that, we're going to go back in time, back uh, to the Salem Witch Trials. Um, this was a time in uh, American history where the charges and fear of the occult and charges of witchcraft were quite commonplace in the 17th century. Um, witchcraft could help people explain a lot of weird things that were going on, like weather, earthquakes, um, lunar and solar eclipses, uh, and any strange illnesses. Um, people back then didn't really have a good understanding of scientific basis for things, and so witchcraft became kind of the, the go-to blame for anything that was going wrong in your life, or things that you couldn't explain. So, Edward Bishop Jr. and Sarah's, Sarah Wilds Bishop operated an inn in Salem, Massachusetts, and their problems began back in 1685. Twice, they were charged with running an unlicensed establishment, profaning the Sabbath, selling liquor illegally, and abusing swine. And I have no idea how, what would be included with abusing swine. Um, but they were not well liked among the Puritan community. And this uh, animosity grew until finally on April 21st of 1692, a group of citizens filed complaints of witchcraft against nine of their neighbors, including Edward and Sarah Bishop and Sarah's stepmother, who was named Sarah Averill Wilds. And they were all arrested and imprisoned, first in Salem, and then they were transported down to Boston, or over to Boston, I guess we should say. Um, grandmother Sarah and her stepmother went to trial on July 2nd. Um, their accuser was the Bishop family minister. His name was Reverend John Hale. And Mrs. Wilds was accused of bewitching her two stepsons in 1676 that resulted in their deaths. Um, so Grandma Sarah's stepmother was tried, convicted, and hanged on July 19th. Um, Sarah Bishop remained in jail. Reverend Hale outlined the accusations from a neighbor of the bishops and said, that she did, see, she being Grandmother Sarah, did entertain people in her house at unreasonable hours in the night and keep drinking and playing at shovelboard, whereby discord did arise in other families and young people were in danger of being corrupted. Their neighbor, by the name of Christian Trask, wife of John Trask, had attempted to reprove Sarah Bishop but received no satisfaction from her about it. <sniffs> nice neighbors. Hale stated that Edward Bishop would have uh, Edward Bishops would have been a house if great profaneness and iniquity if the behavior had not been stopped. So Edward and Sarah Bishop were found to have committed witchcraft against Anne Putnam Jr. Mercy Lewis, and Abigail Williams. Elizabeth Balch, the wife of Benjamin Balch, and her sister, Abigail Warden, also testified against Sarah Bishop. Turn the page. Claiming they heard Edward accuse Elizabeth of entertaining Satan at night. After spending 37 weeks in prison in Boston, somehow... Edward and Sarah escaped from prison and fled to New York. And I've tried to find how that escape took place or how they were able to get out of prison in Boston. I can't find anything that uh, says how they did that. Um, 
Sheriff George Corwin responded by seizing all of Edward and Sarah's personal property. The bishop's son Samuel paid 10 pounds to recover some of his uh, parents' possessions, but much of their estate was never returned, including six cows, 46 sheep, and numerous swine. Edward Bishop later estimated their losses, including prison fees of 10 shillings a week and 5 pounds, at 100 pounds, enough to ruin the couple and leave them with little means of support to support their large family. And in some of the records, I did find that Edward and Sarah are, had 12 children, so they were a very large family. The bishops remained in New York until the spring of 1693, at which time they moved to Rehoboth, Massachusetts, near Providence, Rhode Island, and 50 years later there was a schism within the Puritan church uh, that drove many people to Rehoboth. So most likely the bishops felt the uh, residents of that place would be a little more tolerant, and uh, in spite of their lack of commitment to the Puritan church, and uh, to their uh, involvement in the witchcraft, witchcraft trials, they seemed to be readily accepted. In any case, the Bishop family did prosper after all that. Um, in 1706, Edward Bishop received a license to serve strong drinks and established a new inn uh, in an area that is now known as East Providence. Uh, over time, he purchased a good deal of land and even served as a juror in 1705, so he did regain some standing in the community. The innkeeper, however, was not without his problems. Uh, in 1707, he lost his liquor license again, and uh, for whatever reason, grandfather corrected that problem, and the liquor license was reissued in 1708. And uh, that's pretty much the story. And uh, not, don't have a lot of information on uh, how they passed, but apparently they were able to recover from the uh, the accusations and the trial. And uh, even though they were convicted as witches, um, they were able to escape. Um, so I think that's something, uh, like I said, you don't get to pick your ancestors, but uh, having some convicted uh, witches and uh, swine abusers in the family, I think that's kind of interesting. Thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you next time.